but your next board meeting, the things you'd like to have information about and would be prepared to talk about would be that director district information I think that you'd ask for from the AEA. Okay. That's white one item. You want more information about from John uh, Kraft about um, either voter action versus board action on instructional support and voter approved pebble. Is that right? Um, probably want to start thinking about and mulling around in your head the um, movement from the initial board to the first election in uh, the fall of 11. You know, who's the terms of the individuals on the board? Um, Dr. Feeney's going to have an answer for you about continuing contracts to make sure that I only was laughing a little bit because I saw yeah, that's what we think it is, huh? Yeah. This is like giving an assignment to someone else. Huh? But it's that continuing contract question. <clears throat> um, well, you're going to have to start thinking about collective bargaining. Please, huh? Maybe next meeting we can take a couple of volunteers for that committee. <laughs> I'll be on it. I've got a lot of negotiations. You know, they love seeing you too, Brad. <laughs> now there's just a whole new set of people from another district that can to get to you on their <laughs> negotiating team. <clears throat> so collective bargaining and uh, cutting budget. Most any of those financial things and reports and stuff we'll just take care of. Inside the business office, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, when it comes to policies or like new policies, about the only time there are new policies, Iowa, are about this time of the year, and ISB translates legislation. And um, Dr. Feeney and I went through a couple of sets of things that are some new policy recommendations that have come from ISB that will be on your July board. Agenda, but the two, the two boards, back and Wall IPO, and will take care of those. But usually by about August or September, all of that language has been translated by the Department of Ed, so that any new policies from the legislative session in this last winter would have already been taken care of. There's hardly any federal legislation that, that really affects much, um, unless. But if there is, the IAS people get a hold of the district. With the student handbooks and the, and the personnel handbooks, but uh, no, that's... Mm -hmm. And any policy changes, we reflect those in our family. <coughs> right, so... Uh, I assume sometime next school year, maybe later the better, this board will take action to adopt the existing joint policy of the Wall IQ Auburn and SAC district. Yes. Yes, I would think you know, so. Later, the longer we wait to do that, the fewer action or fewer updates we'll have to make yes. in, yeah. in this report. That's not right. Well, yeah. yeah, and I think that Kevin and I looked at it that the 100, 200, and 300 looked about like the ones that need to be dealt with here this school year mm -hmm. yet. And they're, they're, they are small sections. Mm -hmm. The 400s and the 500s are personnel and students. And those are the big ones. Those two alone are like half of the board book. So, um, but there's, you can probably condense this to six things that will take you a year to work on, but probably six things. Okay. Uh, no personnel issues, so uh, unless somebody has something else they would like to bring up, we can discuss future agenda items and I guess set a date. I don't know in terms of setting a date we should probably tentatively we should in my opinion we, we would agree to meet an hour before the the regular uh, or the joint board meeting that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll wait and set a date after the next meeting. After, yeah. After. Yeah. Move to adjourn.
I'll second. Okay, the motion is second to adjourn. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. 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 Thank you